Leon comes and arranges the pumpkins he plans to sell this month at a Sedalia pumpkin patch. But he says his harvest this year was too thin. I have a, a pumpkin or a, a gourd here and there. So it uh, probably, uh, on my gardens anyway, uh, probably 60% less than I normally have. His experience is supported by agriculture experts who say crops in general have taken a hit because of the hot, dry summer. And we have suffered yield losses, there's no doubt about that. Farmers aren't getting, or not seeing the kind of crop yields come in that we may have expected back in uh, the first part of July. But other pumpkin growers are not having the same problem as Compton. Take Jack Nolan's experience. He grows pumpkins in Blackwater and says he worried about watering early in the year, but changed his mind after checking with other farmers. I just let them go and, and in the afternoons they would be all wilted up and in the mornings they'd still be really perky even on the hottest days of the year. That disparity between Nolan and Compton is one that experts say is not unusual. So soil conditions and then how that interacts with the weather uh, and the weather differences can, can lead to one farmer having reasonably good yield and maybe his neighbor or maybe you know, 15, 20 miles away, they're having almost a total loss of yield. To make up for his losses, Compton says he bought more pumpkins from other growers so that he'll have enough supply that consumers won't notice the difference. I'm selling for about what I usually do. I'm just taking the hit on it. Uh, uh, I like to make, might make more on them, but uh, I want the kids to uh, come out and have fun and uh, be able to afford to buy pumpkins. And based on reports from local grocers, pumpkins will also be plentiful there, too. Robert Bertiga, KOMU8 News, Sedalia.